I'm dropping straight away. Knee goes down, pressure goes on the knee. Top leg, my back leg props up to elevate the foot. Okay, this is controlled, this is controlled. Okay, we simply free ourselves from the bottom leg and we then attach ourselves to the top leg. Hi, I'm Ed Ingemouse, uh, one of the coaches at Mill Hill BJJ in North London. This is my assistant, Andreas. Um, we'll be carrying on with the Kim Ashley series here, okay? So we have looked at the position, we've looked at entries um, for the suite. What I wanna look at now is I wanna focus more on using it as this recovery system for the inside Sankaku, saddle, I don't wanna say honey hogs, it's a stupid name, whatever you wanna call this kind of position, okay? So, with that in mind, we will kind of look at it from a top entry, okay? Because if we look at it from a bottom entry, the idea of a sweep is, 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 is going to work really nicely. So if you think about entering the position from a top position, you're dropping back, you're entering the legs, and you come back up again, you ain't getting any points, okay? Sweep is only appropriate when you're entering from the bottom, whether it's reverse the heaver, whether it's going to be your kind of butterfly or your sumigation looks, okay? So again, we'll look at it from a, a failed back step into, into the inside sun cafe. Okay, so with my knee slicing, whatever we look for the back step, he turns, he frees the knee here, okay? We're gonna assume that we have the momentum going backwards onto the hip so we can't redirect our energy and, and, and jump straight onto the far leg. So as he turns and we're falling, we're gonna land here. So instead of failing on the position, the first thing I have to do when I get here is consolidate the position and, and try and salvage something from the missed back step, okay? So straight away, my knee drives to the floor, my shin drives to the floor. I need to pin his knee down as much as I can to the floor. The second thing, I want to come onto my foot of the back leg, okay? Because if my back leg stays down here in this kind of weird scissor position, this leg is too low, okay? The higher this leg is, the harder it's going to be for him to pull the leg free, okay? So straight away, I step up, and I'm coming into this position where my knees are quite close together. So I'm almost kind of scissoring and trapping his foot on my hip. But more importantly, I'm making sure that the foot stays significantly higher than the knee to prevent him pulling out. Okay, just very quickly, if his leg straightens here, it's very easy for him to pull out. If there is a downward pressure on the knee and an upward pressure on the foot, he tries to pull out, it's difficult, okay? So, we've entered the position. As we fall back, we're assuming you've collected the far leg because it's, it's, a, it's a main thing people rely on when they look for the inside Sankaku position. So we've landed with the Kima Ashi on, on, the, on the near leg, controlling the position, and we've landed again with the, the control of the top leg. Okay, so we have significantly strong control of both of the both of the limbs, okay? So a quick extraction for him is gonna be difficult. He has to work, okay? Easiest thing to look at is transitioning to the far leg, okay? So once we've got to this position and we've lost the knee line, effective submissions on this leg are, are quite poor. We'll look at one later, but for now, we simply can aim at controlling and maintaining the position on this leg to prevent the extraction, okay? All we will do is we will hip escape away as before. Instead of coming up to the top position, I simply want to transition my attention from this leg to this leg, okay? So we've missed the inside Sankaku here. I simply hip escape away, and I will bring my hips back in again, and we're coming into an ashy position on the far side, okay? However you want to do it. You can throw the leg over, and you can start to look at all these kind of reap positions, Personally, for me, I just want to start basically the, the, the standard kind of Ashigarami position, okay? So, get this over. Coming in, we back step, he turns, I'm dropping straight away. Knee goes down, pressure goes on the knee, top leg, my back leg props up to elevate the foot, okay? This is controlled, this is controlled, okay? We simply free ourselves from the bottom leg, and we then attach ourselves to the top leg, okay? This will then lead to your, your normal leg lock game on the far leg.